I died while giving birth. So what, you say? Every year millions of women around the world die the same way. Don't bother us about something like that. Sure, it's true. But what I wanted to tell you is that I was only nine years old when my husband got me pregnant. Nobody seems to know it, but there are lots of us too. Every day, let me repeat that, every day. Some 20,000 girls under the age of 18 give birth all over the world, and lots of them, like me, are less than 14 years old. Does that get your attention? Here we are, the child brides, the doll mummies, mothers who are so young themselves that they cannot even manage to carry their children. And some of them, like me, can't even manage to bring them into the world to begin with. My husband is an important man in my village. He is a tradesman, and everyone respects him. You can't be impolite to him to risk offending him. In fact, when he asked my father if he would marry me, daddy really couldn't say no, even though he was five times my age. Besides, my future husband had already offered me, my father quite a lot of money in exchange for his little girl. You can't imagine how proud I was. Finally, I was worth something to my family. They even gave me extra helping at dinner time for a week before the wedding as I was, if I was a boy. Women are always saying what a nonsense it is to have their period. I wouldn't know because I only got my mine once. I, it never came again because after just one month, I was already pregnant. The doctor had told us it would be better to wait at least a year to celebrate our honeymoon. But my husband was a man and he needed a woman. Especially for that, you know, men aren't mean. They just have to find some relief. Why should they go to, they go and waste good money on some lady when they have already paid for a wife? That's what my husband said to me that night. He had his way with me, but he didn't even have to use my force <clears throat> or any force because I lay there that night almost if I was lifeless just like my rag doll. Then I fainted, and I can't remember anything else that happened. They say it's called honeymoon, because it is sweetest day of your life. I guess that must be true, but it sure didn't feel that way for me. Maybe it is because I have never really liked surgery stuff. Everyone knows I'd, made, I'd much rather the, have a nice tasty meatball than a sweet. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. Every week when I, he came back from selling his wares in the market, my husband kept coming back to my bed. And even though my belly was growing bigger, Day by day, he keep taking more of that sweet honey. But for me, life seems more and more bitter. I stop go going to school. What else could I do? It happens to millions of girls around the world. I know so because our teacher told my parents while trying to pursue them to let me continue my studies, but my father didn't want to. Hear anything about it, don't blame him. Our father do it 
for our own sake. They think they can protect us from the world's hidden danger by finding us a husband when a poor little girl gets married. It is like she's getting a kind of insurance policy. Once she's sometimes someone's wife, she will be safe and sound. No one will try to molest or rape her or make her pregnant except her husband, of course. My baby was too big. He just couldn't find his way out of me. And then I realized I couldn't breathe anymore. The two of us slipped off together up, to, up into the haven. All of a sudden, the world looked very small, for smaller than us. And we too became as big as giant that no grown-up world ever dare a lie on again.